You know, I just love that uh, old school original Miller Lite can. Uh, brings back a lot of memories. All right, I wanted to do a uh, a video kind of talking about this uh, Emerson. It's a mini CQC7 um, that I've had for a little while. And uh, it's a great knife. It's well built. A lot of people complain and they get an Emerson and say it's not up to Kershaw standards or uh, or something like that. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I have three Emersons. I've handled a lot more. And, and while some of the knives have had some issues, uh, I think that's true with any brand. I think a lot of people buy into some of the hype around the Emerson brand, and uh, they get a little crazy about it. Anyhow, this is a uh, Mini CQC7, like I said. It is the uh, satin finish, or uh, stone washed. It doesn't have their black coating, what they call a BT coating. Let's see if we can get a good uh, zoom in on that blade. You can see this one was made in 2012, and it uh, serial number is 1888. It's the Tonto style. It has the wave feature and a, uh, a thumb disc. It is the chisel grind, which a lot of people um, hate on the chisel grind, and they say, oh, Emerson doesn't want to sharpen a whole knife, or he just wants to sharpen one side of the knife. From what I understand, um, Ernest says it's so it's easier to sharpen in the field, and uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know because I've never really sharpened a knife in the field. Um, one of the things I do like about it, being a left-handed person, is that if I'm going to be cutting, I can actually see the bevel as I cut. If I was a right-handed person and I was cutting with that, I think I'd feel a little uneasy. I know I certainly would on on certain cuts that I would do towards myself with that. But uh, I feel that the way that this blade is actually designed and on this knife is actually better for a left-handed person than a right-handed person. But being a, a Tanto, it's probably more of a thrusting knife than a cutting knife anyway. Alright, well, that's my two cents about the, the chisel grind. It's a 154CM, which I think is a fine steel. It's not a super steel, and it's not a cheap steel. It's not 420, 440. Um, 8 CR 13 MOV or OS 8. I have absolutely zero problem with this. And I believe Emerson uh, hardens it somewhere around 58 Rockwell. Um, I bought this knife uh, hoping it would be a little easier to open on the left hand side, but there's really not much of a cutout to get to that thumb disc. Uh, there's more on the right hand side, so sometimes I'll try to open it with the finger flick, but I can't quite get it. Um, it's designed to be open as a wave feature, but uh, I'm a lefty, and um, the knife, unfortunately, isn't tapped for left-hand carry. That's something I really, really wish uh, Emerson would do. If I wanted to buy this knife, um, it's about 125 somewhere, give or take. Uh, if I buy it from Emerson, it's probably closer to 200 bucks. plus I have to pay for insured shipping. Plus, it would be another $25 to get it tapped for left-hand carry. And it starts to put it into uh, a category where it might not be so price competitive with some other options that are out on the market. Anyhow, I bought it and I uh, thought maybe I could carry it on the right-hand side or maybe in the back pocket or something. Um, I carry it in the pocket carry the few times that I have. and That's what it looks like with the... With the let's get some light on there. With the pocket clip on... I think Emerson does a great job with the pocket clips. They don't bend up. They don't act goofy. Uh, I don't have any problem with them all. And I think this is appropriate pocket carry. A lot of people are, you know, they want they, they want the, the clip up here so they can get ultra deep pocket carry. But this seems to make more sense. And uh, I like it. I think it's a really, really well-built knife. And I'm contemplating buying a left-handed version through Emerson, which comes up from sale time to time. I have bought a left-handed commander from him. I just really wish that uh, Emerson took more time to uh, cater to left-handed people. It would certainly help me out. Um, it has a, the, the full steel liners. Um, there's a lot of conversation around one side being TI, the lock side, and the other side being stainless steel. Um, I believe this is TI just based off the way the lock breaks for me. And uh, I don't know about this other side. I really, I really don't care. The knife weighs in at uh, 4.2 ounces, but it's um, 
you know, it's pretty heavy and it's pretty wide. Each each block on this uh, grid is a half inch. So it's almost a half inch wide when closed. So it's pretty beefy in the pocket. Um, it's what I would call a hefty knife, but uh, it, it's very it's very smooth. It has an Emerson pivot. I, I like the fact that his knives are put together in a way that um, you can take them apart with simple tools. You don't need some goofy Torx or Allen wrench. Um, you can just take these apart and, and work on them. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, the G10 is a little thick, and it is very grippy. It's very coarse, but again, that's a typical Emerson thing. I wouldn't expect anything other than that. When I did get this knife, it was a little gritty, so I did take it apart, and it was pretty grimy. And um, I cleaned it out, and I and I lubed it up, and I don't really think that's a problem. I mean, I'm glad I was able to take the knife apart, not void a warranty, and uh, use easy tools to do it. This has a backspacer. I think some of the newer Emersons, the 2013s, have uh, backspacers. Uh, backspacers I like because it makes it a little easier to clean out the knife. A lot of people like the backspace. Um, I'm sorry, I like the standoffs. Like the standoffs, not the backspacer. It makes it a little easier to clean them. Um, some people like the backspacer. They feel that it gives it more stability or rigidity. Uh, I, I don't know if this is a knife I'm going to keep. Again, because I don't feel like I can deploy it easily, and uh, I don't want to. I don't want to send it into Emerson to be tapped because it's going to cost me close to fifty bucks between shipping and having it tapped, and I just don't. I just don't feel like I want to invest another 50 into this this knife. But I do like it. I feel like it's a pretty good blade, and I'm, and I'm happy with it. The overall open length is about 7 and a quarter inches long. And the, the blade for the Mini CQC7 is 3.9. I'm sorry, 2.9 inches. And uh, that's on purpose because 3 inches is the legal cutoff for most uh, states' pocket carry. And uh, Emerson wanted to make a knife that was uh, carryable. Uh, without problems in most states. And so he came up with this as an option to the CQC7, which is a little bit bigger. Um, I think this is a great sized EDC knife. It's not the best slicer in the world, but it works well. Um, I certainly uh, am very happy with it, other than the fact that I'm a lefty, and this is a right-handed designed knife. That's really it. Thanks.